There's no reason you should do this on hockey skates. Hey best pally, I'm Allie, and today I'm gonna see if I can do tricks on hockey skates. If you're not a new pally, you know that I'm pretty proficient on figure skates. And then hockey skates are a different story, especially if you're trying to do figure skating moves on them. Gotta suit up first. For those of you that are gonna give me crap about my skates matching, these are not shoes, these are sporting equipment, so my years-long record is still intact. And also, mismatched my laces, so there. Ugh, even walking in them is weird. I feel like I have no support in my ankles. Hockey players gotta be so mobile. And here we go. First, just getting comfortable. The issue here is that I'm used to a toe pick and a longer blade in back. So basically, if my weight goes forward at all, I'm used to just pushing on my toe pick, but it's not there anymore. So it's one of these and you look like an idiot. I'm gonna try out some crossovers. This is not exclusive to figure skating. A lot of hockey players do this, especially defensemen do them backwards. Oh yeah, stopping still works. Although figure skaters are cool and do hockey stops. It's less likely you'll see a hockey player doing a T-stop. Okay, let's go for a lap before I really start scaring myself. like I'm flying no matter what kind of skates I got on. I just ate it and I missed filming. <laughs> uh, went for a toe bake that I did not have. Great, I'm gonna follow that up with a little footwork. Trying mohawks and three turns. Let's shit this. They're called three turns because you literally write a three on the ice. Check this out. You go in, around, and out, and it makes a three. Now let's crank it up. It's time to lunge. Hold on, hold on. What is that? You want a photo with me? You want to be in my video too? This is Ava Lynn and Clara. Hi. Good to meet you. Did you know I was a skater? You think I'm a pianist? I thought you were a pianist. That's like the reason I started piano. Really? That's so cool. Wow, I'm so impressed. Keep it up. That's awesome. I just got stopped for the third time. Is this you? Yep, that's me on TikTok. Thanks for watching. <laughs> it's time to take it to one foot. Spiral. Getting a little more confident now, which is dangerous because that's when you forget and fall back on your heel. The reason that I want zero of those awkward moments is because I just may be auditioning for a hockey skate athletic thing soon. I don't know. Subscribe and ring the bell to find out. Okay, time to jump right in. This is stupid and there's no reason you should do this on hockey skates. Wow. <laughs> what a flop. That was almost a somersault. Great. Anyway, that's a waltz jump, which is like the only reasonable jump to do on hockey skates. Like anything else requires a toe pick and I'm not doing that. Oh, but I just remembered a loop and a sow cow. Uh, I mean, I've already eaten it, so I might as well. I'm going small on this one. I'm a little rattled. Well, we're not going at all. About a spin. You should technically not be using your toe pick at all on a spin, so this will be fine. A little dizzy. That was not the prettiest. Look, in contrast to this, please go watch my figure skating video because I swear I know what I'm doing. Okay, it's time to make up for that with the most impressive thing I have in my arsenal. That's called a shoot the duck, which, since this is a fitness channel, is basically a pistol squat on ice. Woohoo! That's from eating it on my waltz jump. I was thinking I should have worn gloves, but elbow pads? Alright! I don't know if you can tell, but it's getting so cold that it's kind of hard to talk. My lips are freezing up, and I don't know if my hands can handle the. Close enough. 